Today on This Week in YouTube, Steve Sutton stops by to show us how to make delicious homebrewed iced tea. Enjoy your tea. We take a look at some useful driving tips for teens. Thank you. No, no. Oh thank my you. God, no. Thank Just, you. Don't thank me. And move over, Angela Bassett, because James Earl Jones just got his groove back. All that and more right now on This Week in YouTube. TV audiences won't get a look at the new J.J. Abrams created show Fringe until this fall, but internet audiences got a sneak peek with a viral video that appeared this week on YouTube. Let's take a look. He has six fingers on each yeah. hand. <laughs> show, you show, let me see. Oh, that's a camel skin ah. uh, perfume holders. You know, interesting. I, I wonder if this plot could possibly relate to the Rimbaldi prophecies from the late seasons of Alias. What do you think, Leah? I don't watch network television. Authorities are asking all subscribers to help them identify a new blogger. Let's take a look at a recent post. Diddy blog, diddy blog, diddy blog, diddy blog. Let me see, make sure I look right. Oh. If you have any information on this individual or his current whereabouts, please call our Blog Stopper hotline. Ludicrous. No, I don't think it was him. No, not that. The connections between Cloverfield and Fringe. Obviously, in Cloverfield, the guy's wearing the Slusho shirt. Slusho's a major corporation that makes a product that causes mutations. One of these mutations obviously impacted this Indian man and gave him 12 fingers. It's obvious. And now it's time for Top of the Tube. Tubes. The internet is tubes. The irate gamer reviewed Rob the Robot. You better shape up or your ass is out of here. Okay, I think I finally have this figured out. As you can see, we've got the four-toed statue on the Lost Island right here. Four-toed statue, six-figured Indian man. There's obviously got to be some kind of connection. It all goes back to the Hanzo Corporation. Now, if you look down here on the- Damn it, Lon! Hot for words! Okay, so, uh, Todd for words this week said something about a sniper. If you got really good at shooting at these snipe birds, they called you a sniper. And from the producers of Hot for Words comes a brand new series. Let's check it out. Hello, my charming students. It's me again, here to teach you some words. First word today, hepatitis C. I have a headache this morning because of my hepatitis C. I don't even think they're supposed to cause headaches. I don't know. I think I got trichinosis poisoning as well. We'll see. I take lots of these pills. They're antibiotics. It comes with the Navajo word, Antibio, which was the Navajo god of hepatitis. The shout out goes to Eduardo, my sexy student teacher pet of the week. I love you, man. Mwah. What the Buck asks, one tequila, two tequila, three tequila, whore? She says she feels she is responsible for California allowing gay marriage. Fred wrote a letter to his father in jail. My dad is not a bad person. One time I had a dream that I met my dad and he was really nice. In the dream, he bought me cotton candy and peanuts. All right, that's it for us today. We'll leave. I can't read it. There's no words on it. To play us out? What does that mean, to play us out? What? I don't understand what that means. To, to end the show? All right, go. Go. <clears throat> that's it for. I can't do it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live! F it, we'll do it live! No, don't write it! I'll do it live! F***ing thing sucks! And that's it for us today. I'm Leah D'Amelio. We'll leave you with Madonna in a cut from her new music video. Lon, oh. get over it! I'm telling you.